All right, boys and girls, really quick. I wanted to do the explanation of the name of my channel for you. It's Black Shirt Friday for those of you to follow my Facebook page. Um, Kika no Naka no Akuma, and roughly in English translate to Demon in the Machine. And the running joke is that my friends from college that know me know that I love the Armored Core series and the Robotech and Macross games on PlayStation, Virtual Arm, on Sega Saturn, and Sega Dreamcast, and so on and so forth. Very big Macross fan, very big Robotech fan, very big Voltron, Transformers, GoBots. Anything Mecha, you name it, I was loving it as a kid in the 80s. So, fast forward to the 90s. A wonderful anime comes out called Ghost in a Shell. Ghost in a Shell was the first time, from a Japanese major standpoint, that we tried to blend. And I'm saying my standpoint, my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. But I'm saying that's the first major time that a Japanese anime tried to blend artificial intelligence with a lifelike reality in an anime setting and discuss the transition from the human consciousness to the artificial intelligence blending the human consciousness into a new being. So if you take the hypothetical standpoint of, oh, well, now we have this new life that we took from a human being and we put into a machine and we can diagnose the problem, we can give you a new cybernetic upgrade, and practically, as long as someone's running the tech shop, give you immortality. Then, what's to say that the good and evil of man doesn't transfer with you when you transfer to these new machines and new parts? Because me and my frat brother, Esteban, who's out in Florida now, we've discussed the transition of the duality of man. For example, every man has a good nature and an evil nature. Every man has a temper and a very forgiving statute if he chooses to embrace it. So, oh yeah, one of my new Eldar Wraith Knight toys. Um, the demon in the machine is representing the other half of that coin of duality. So, if the Ghost in the Shell anime is defending the good nature of men, then demon in the machine is representing those that have gone to the dark side, that are the evil pilots. For example, in every major mecha show, you have the superhero main lead character who's the virtuous one, who's the strong one, who's the hero, who has the highest degree of piloting skill, who everyone aspires to be. But then you have the Roy Foker character, or Masuma, depending on Macross Frontier, the original Macross, that everyone has that older brother. But once you flip the coin over, you always have the enemy pilot who is your exact match in every skill level possible who doesn't have that healthy upbringing or that positive relationship who might be the jealous one who might be the dark side who well star wars of course who might be the one that's going to not bring balance to the force by destroying everyone in it and i'm saying that because in the games i play and how my gaming style is I'm not necessarily going WAAC, win at all costs, no. I'm going for the highly analytical probability statistics advantage over cost and loss analysis in my forces and games. Meaning that I'm looking at my games and I'm like, okay, what did I learn? What can I do different? What's the next step in the plan? How can I improve? What can I change differently? What model can I use next time that will give me the same or different or more advantageous position for the game that's what I'm looking at but that's the long version short version is I want to be the dark side for the greater good since I'm a tile player so demon in the machine is the nerd in the back that's designing all the new toys all the new techniques all the new strategies and I bounce off a lot of ideas with the tile empire group on Facebook I used to be an Advanced Tower Tactica up until 5th edition, then I kind of gave up. Because that's when I got burned out with tournament play. I don't want to play tournaments. Tournaments are a fixed group of scenarios at a limited point cost. I'm the guy that ended up with 30,000 points plus in Talon and still growing the Empire. I still need a Orca. I still need a Manta. A buttload of Barracudas and about 4 more Tiger Sharks. Along with the new Crisis Suits, some Storm Surges, Ghost Kills, everything else. So, 
I want to play Apocalypse. And the reason why I don't like tournaments, you cannot put all the ideas running through my tactical imagination into an 1850 points list effectively. It's, I have to give you two stretching three concepts that I want to push out as I'm playing a game. I don't want to be stuck. See? By any means necessary. I don't want to be stuck in one crappy concept. Like when Ard Boards was 2250 or 2500 points, it was awesome because it's like, hey, I can m not necessarily min max, but I can squeeze four good formations or units or ideas and then, and then supplement. So the plan is now that you know what the true translation of Demon in the Machine is, Kikai no Naka no Akuma. We don't have to necessarily discuss it. And the recommendation from my better half, who still at work, will be just calling it Akuma, Demon. For you Street Fighter fans, Akuma is my favorite character. Because Ken and Ryu were best friends, but I wanted the evil one. So I was so happy when Akuma came out. Thanks for watching Kikai no Naka no Akuma. I will do an update of what I got done this week as I'm pulling out the bag. Talk to you later. As always, you can like, comment, subscribe. You know, that button right there. And I'll talk to you guys soon.